Hey guys, so if you've ever been working along with your band and, and while you're singing, you're looking around and trying to communicate with other musicians as to what they should be playing, or maybe you're gonna do part of a song again, or you just change the order of arrangement of something right in the middle, very spontaneously, but you actually wanna communicate with everyone, let them know what's going on. Uh, Many of you have probably seen this. You you watch different bands and they're playing and and they're they're looking around at one another and trying to catch up with one another. Maybe they're not uh, all kind of fully synchronized on what's going on if there's something that changes, kind of at the spur of the moment. So with that today, what I want to do is talk to you about how to privately talk to all of those that are in your band if you're using in-ear monitors and communicate what you're going to do next. So check this device out. So this device is called the Proco Panic Button and it's an AB switch for a microphone input. So you bring your microphone into the back of this device and then you press the, the um, toggle to change it between the output A or the output B. So the way you would wire this up is you take your main output, uh, your main input, excuse me, coming in from your microphone into here, and this does pass through phantom power on your microphone, so uh, that's no problem if you need that. Uh, and then output A is what you get when it's green, Output B is what you get when it's red. So you press this with your foot, and now we're on the red output. So it switches uh, where your mic's going in, going to from the input. The nice thing about this is you can run output A to, in our case we have this run that output A is going to one channel on the mixer, output B is going to the other channel on the mixer. So that's what gives you two different channels uh, for your signal coming out of this one switch. So now let's take those two lines to the inputs for our mixer. 17 here is the one that was green, that's the main mic output. And then 18 over here is the one that is, um, is, is the alternate mic or the, when, when you press the panic button and it's red. That's actually going into channels, uh, it's like eight here, it's actually channel eight on the input and then channel one on the input here. Now our mixer is software controlled here, so it's make it really easy for us to show you um, the routing. So here we see that mic one is coming in from input number one that we had on the board. And then over here, a little further over, we have the talk back, talk back mic, which is coming in from input number eight. Now that we have both signals coming into our board, and this would work the same for just a physical hardware board as well, uh, we're free to do whatever we want with those signals. So in the case of the main mic coming in here, uh, we're sending that out to the mains just like you would do any other mic. Nothing there really is different than probably what you're used to. And whereas you can see here for the main mic, you see that that one is assigned to the mains, so they're going to go out the main speakers. But then when we come over here to the talkback mic, uh, the talkback mic itself is not assigned to the mains at all. So anytime we switch the pedal to red for the um, secondary output there, it's not going to go to our mains at all. So now we want to take that signal and we want to get it back to the inner monitors so that the other musicians can hear us when we switch the switch to red and we speak into the microphone. We want it to get back down there. Uh, typically you can send this down in whatever mechanism you use to send um, signals to your in-ear monitors. Different boards are going to be different. You may use an auxiliary send if you have, if that's how you're sending. If you're sending with uh, a board controlled mix, you may send it through one of those mixes. But whatever the mix arrangement is you have to get the signal down to the in-ear monitors, that's the mechanism you, you're going to use. I'll demonstrate how we do it in ours here. So this system has several different mixes that can be sent out of it. One is the main mix that goes to the main house speakers. Uh, but then you can have individual separate mixes here as well. In this case, we're going to send the microphone when switched to red, the talkback microphone. We're going to send that one out on mix six. Here's the mix of inputs that are going to mix six. Notice the only thing going to mix six is this talkback microphone. Now in our case, each in-ear monitor user has their own little mix station here. In fact, this is the live mix uh, by Digital Audio Labs system, and there are two sides to this. One person can use side A and control their mix. Uh, another person can use side B and control their mix. And so in this case, uh, what we've done, as you saw for the, from the board earlier, is that we're sending down that talkback microphone on uh, channel six coming through this. And so what the user of the in-ear monitors can do is they can turn that up or down to their liking 
and, um, and they'll receive a copy of that signal. So you may have watched this and said, that seems pretty involved. Actually, it's really not that bad. So if you start just with the switch, run it into your board, and then take that, the signal of the talkback mic that you want to use and route it to your in-ear monitors. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, if anything I can help with with your setup, feel free to send me a note, comment at the bottom. If you like this video and it was good, please like it. Subscribe if you want to see more like it. Thanks a lot. Have a blessed day.